Hello and welcome to Stitching Journal Club. I'm Beatrice and today I'm going to talk about some of my cross stitch whips and a little bit of science and hope everyone has a good time. <laughs> Today's going to be a short video. I'm just going to go over some of my whips and I'll let you go. So just to get right into it. <clears throat> uh, first, since I last saw you, I picked up um, Moon Phase Bell Pull by Tiny Martinist. Um, this is a fun pattern. And I finished up that first little crescent moon and then I went and worked on some of this um, second partial moon. And now, as I was working on it, um, it was taking me a long time to do. It was kind of frustrating because uh, the PDF, um, I would say, isn't all that well formatted. Um, some of the symbols, and there's only a few symbols that they chose to represent the threads are um, not easily distinguishable. Um, so I decided to throw the PDF into Pattern Keeper just to see if it would work and um, like towards the end and it worked well. Um, I've had Pattern Keeper for a long time but I've just never used it um, because as you know I prefer paper patterns but I am loving it. <laughs> I know now I see what everyone's um, raving about with Pattern Keeper. Um, so I've been busy putting a bunch of my patterns <laughs> into the app. Um, I will say that not all patterns work, at least in all the ones that I have, and um, actually most of them <clears throat> don't read the thread numbers. Well, so I have to input them manually, which is a hassle, but for the most part, it works well. So I finished out this moon in Pattern Keeper and I made a lot fewer mistakes. Um, so I will continue to use it and work on Moon Phase Bell Pull. Um, right. Next is this one. <clears throat> this is a restart. It's called Landscape number seven by Noosa Creation Store on Etsy. Um, and it is just a lovely Mediterranean scene. I had started this previously on 28 count, one over one, just to, just to mess around. And it was so tiny and cute, but I could not see myself doing a whole pattern on 28 count, one over one, if I'm being perfectly honest. So <laughs> I changed up the fabric and I got this far. Um, I will say one more thing about Pattern Keeper is I had to turn off um, where it says how many stitches you do every day. Um, that was, I don't know, I don't feel like that's healthy for me. So <laughs> I turned off the stitch counter and um, it's a good time is had by all. Um, so yeah, this is a great, this is a great pattern. It's um, about 160 by 120, so it's not a huge full coverage. Um, so I'm sort of using this as my, as my sort of dipping my toes into quote unquote full coverage stitching and seeing how I like it. And I'm liking it. <laughs> so that'll be fun to do. Um, next is this pattern and it's kind of big, so I'm gonna Hold it this way. And it's called Firebird Sampler by um, Tinsel Cross Stitch on Etsy, I think, or Tinsel something on Etsy. And this pattern is very interesting. So I bought the PDF on Etsy j just from the, just from seeing the, uh, uh, the mock-up and this is a mock-up they have it's not a very good mock-up at all um but it's compelling right and with a name like firebird sampler how can you not stop and take a look um so i got it and it sat for a while and when i finally decided to start it i knew that i wanted to um stitch the the outside alphabet in blue um, so I did that first, I stitched the alphabet and then I stitched the, the little firebird here 
which I think, I just think it turned out great. Um, this isn't the coloring from the, the pattern, how it's charted, so you can see. So I um, Googled images of phoenixes and I just picked one that had coloring I liked and sort of used that um, to guide what colors I chose to stitch this in and it looks amazing. Um, it just looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> There's not much to say about it. Um, and then I just moved up to the top corner like I usually do. And this is where I ran into some some hiccups. So um, let me bring back the pattern again. It's very colorful. Um, just like a lot of different types of colors. Um, it's more of a muted color palette too. Um, so what I am, was trying to do was I picked bolder colors for my color palette to go with the the blue that I chose for the outside and the bolder colors of of the Phoenix. And um, I'm not sure that I'm happy with that. I think that I'm going to take out most of what I've done here and um, pick colors. So what I was trying to do is keep with the spirit of the color scheme here and keep the same number of colors, just um, bolder, not so muted. But I don't know that, that that's gonna work. Um, so I did use the whole, um, the old artist trick of taking a picture and making it black and white. Um, so I'm gonna use so that I don't get, you know, caught up on whatever colors I use here. I'm just going to use this as a guide um, to choose colors based on tone and value as opposed to um, actual color. And that'll help a lot. So I'll work on that when I get <laughs> this out again. But so far, the parts that I do love... I love a lot. <laughs> it just looks great. Um, this is gonna be amazing. Um, the fabric that I'm using on this is linen and I'm not a huge linen fan, but um, this particular linen and I have an understanding. <laughs> it doesn't annoy me too much, which is good because I have a bunch of it that I'm gonna need to use up. Um, so that is Firebird Sampler. Next is another restart and it is periodic table um <laughs> it's a little embarrassing but i'm going to own up to it so on my other fabric i had a bunch of excess down here at the bottom and i decided to cut it off um so i cut it off <laughs> oh man i cut it off here um forgetting that there's a whole other two rows that are offset that i hadn't gotten to yet and I realized that <laughs> I cut it too short. Oh man, right as I was finishing up, like right at my last snip, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what did I just do? <laughs> I felt like such a dunderhead. Oh my gosh. Um, so I had to restart periodic table, um, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, so I've got these nine elements done so far. Um, and I have decided, because when I pulled it out before, I um, was kind of wanting to make some real progress on this. Um, so I decided to work on this once a week, do at least one, hopefully two or three elements, um, at least once a week, and that way I will finish it in good time. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to do once a week, I'll call it Science Sundays because I love alliteration and hopefully I'll have a bunch of this done by the end of this year, if not early next year. But yeah, um, lesson learned, cut your fabric before you start stitching or wait until it's all done because you will make a mistake. At least I will. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
Then I picked up Fractor number eight um, from a company that is not online anymore, but I love this pattern and I have a lot of theirs that I need to do. So I need to get a move on on this one. So I um, filled in most of these flowers down here and a bit of the circle um, towards the middle. It's about half done now. And I really like this pattern a lot, um, but this fabric, so I have, I don't know if anyone else has this, but I have some fabric that um, just makes my stitches look great, no matter what I do to it, no matter how I stitch on it. This is the opposite of that. This fabric, I have to fight, it seems, so hard <laughs> to make my stitches lay right. And um, when I stitch on this, I get kind of frustrated and just give up. And I mean, looking at it now, it looks okay. And I know that it'll um, work itself out, um, relax a little bit after it's washed. But man, <laughs> as much as I love this pattern, and I do, um, I don't love this fabric. <laughs> so I can't wait to finish it. Um, that's probably why it's taking me so long, because it's not a huge pattern. Um, but I tend to not pick it up as often as I could. But it's going to look great when it's done. I know. I just need to get there. <laughs> that is factor number eight. And last but not least is my current whip that I'm working on right now. So it's still in the hoop. Is a Halloween bash by Ship's Manor. This is a pattern that I have had for a while and I have been just sort of wishy-washy on what kind of fabric I wanted to do it on in terms of count and color. Um, and so I eventually decided to just, just pick a fabric and do it. Um, and so at first I chose this fabric. Um, and it was a, it's looking kind of blue, but it's more purple in real life. And it was a lighter purple, and then I over dyed it. Um, but after, I, oh, where is it? Here it is. And then I started stitching on it, and um, that was just too teeny tiny. I wanted this pattern to be a little bit bigger. Um, and this was 22 count. And so I decided to go in the complete opposite direction <laughs> and do it on a lighter 20 count. And it's working up great. It works up pretty quickly. I've only worked on this for two days. And I've already got that much done. And it's going to stay on my stand for a little while longer because I'm having a lot of fun um, stitching on it. I actually ended up starting this on my birthday, which was this past weekend. Um, I had wanted to start something else, but mail or not mail, it's FedEx. Um, <clears throat> I just have a fiery burning hate <laughs> for FedEx, um, what's it called? Mail solutions, however they connect with the USPS. It is ridiculous. My package has been coming for two weeks. It's been in transit for two weeks and more than half of that time it's just been sitting in different places <laughs> and it is so annoying oh my gosh it has been in my city for at least three days now and it's just sitting there no movement so i don't actually know when i'm going to get my package um anyway <laughs> rant aside i ended up starting this guy on my birthday which um is great it was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm mad again. Um, so yeah, there's that. I am using Ships Manor's um, thread pack that they, that they have, um, that they made for this pattern. And it's fine. I think some of the colors chosen are a little pale, um, like the werewolf guy's shorts. They're kind of light blue. I'd have done them a darker blue, um, but... 
I have them, so I'm going to use them for this. It looks good. Um, so yeah, that's all of my whips. Um, I hope you're having a great day, week, month. Um, where I am, it's been raining a lot, which is very unusual for just my state in general, but especially this time of year. Um, so it's been a little bit cooler. I've been enjoying it because I know it's going to get blazing hot soon, but um, I'll just enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> so I will sign off and we'll see you in the next video.